Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Civ 6 series as Rome. I think this is episode 12 or somewhere like 12. We are just going through and eliminating all of the civs on the map. This is one of the reasons I don't do domination victories very often. I mean, I do like genuinely like domination victories. But they are dull. You do just do the same things over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Ah, I misclicked. Oh my god, I need to get that off of my left click button. I am so irritated when I misclick like that. Action should be done with your right click. And nothing but movement should be done with your left click. The fact that, like, my left click makes my guy's attack bothers me. It bothers me so badly. Take the city. And... Can I redeploy you for further afield? Ho ho ho! Oh, Coupe, you didn't even... Another misclick, see? Ah, uh, I was going to start bombing that this turn. You are bombing this to save my capital. And then I'm probably going to delete that unit. I need to be very careful with how much aluminum I'm spending. I am running out of aluminum every single turn. Keep Opongo. I really want... Well, we'll repair you. And then you are just going to build something. Science more than culture, I guess. But culture is probably going to be more important eventually. Water park with you. Throw this down. And yeah. We'll start sending like our tanks, our cavalry over this direction to take that city. And then we'll send some bombers over in this direction to take these cities. I'm really worried about getting a city close to him. But it might be worth it. We'll see. And Wukong, you got 28 turns left. Let's get you close by. If I purchase an aircraft carrier... Are you a melee? Purchase that aircraft carrier to get some bombers stacked up on it. And then next we'll purchase a destroyer so that I have some melee naval units what policy slot do i need filled uh spy spy production science and faith trade i don't have any allies open borders with all city states e yes this more gold more gold is always good 277 gold up from 106 Huge improvement. But I am getting pillaged. Like, they're plundering my trade routes, which I hate. Well, we've officially expanded beyond our beginner island. We are now a multi-island settlement. What do I want to pillage? Hopefully you don't die and you're able to pillage that. Bomb. 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 And this bomber and this bomber are going to be looking over here. I can I can reach you, right? Yeah. Can I reach you with this? No, it's just out of reach. We'll rebase you up here. 
and get our aircraft carrier moving in that direction. At nine a turn. Is anybody building a bomber? And nine a turn, it really hurts me to delete this unit. But I need to, I need to save. Can't get a helicopter, can't do that. I really need to save my stuff. I can't afford to spend it. You'll come up here and pillage next turn. I just need to be pillaging the crap out of them. Get you moving in the right direction. And... Fire. And fire. Hopefully I don't lose a battleship. That would be really bad. Like one of the worst things that could happen to me actually, losing that battleship. With these seaports rolling in, I am starting to get money. And we're just going to pop some harbor shipping in. I can't really, like, I don't really want to build much more. Necklace? Plenty of culture now, most culture in the game, most science in the game. At this point, it's just a wait and win sort of situation. It's so... Oh, there's more gold. Yeah, I kind of... Need to just... Wreck wreck this city then I can throw Wukong up on top of the, the the land there and I think he's pretty much pretty much over at that point air attack he's this one's definitely gone there there's no surviving this it's, all, it's just a matter of how much pillaging I want to do. Do I want to do a lot, or do I want to be sparing in my pillaging? I'm consuming 7 a turn. That means I still have to destroy one bomber unless I can get over to that aluminum mine in time. I don't think I can get that in seven turns, unfortunately. That means I have to eliminate one bomber. And that's just gold that I'm losing. And that feels so bad. Captured. Killed. Healed. Keep. Keep. Done. So now we're officially a two-island civilization. I don't really want to take everything from the Congo because that's like major penalties. But he's at 62 combat strength now. This is nothing. Uh, maybe I don't need to worry about the half-strength bombers. Uh, as long as... Yeah, I probably really don't need to worry. If we're being perfectly honest... War Department. And these fighters are going to rebase back home so that we can start killing units. And this fighter, you're going to rebase down here. I want to leave my carriers open for... I need to leave my carriers open for bombers. I only need one carrier. But it's so slow. It's so slow. It takes so long. <clears throat> I need it to have better movement. Uh, purchase destroyer. And just have more units over here protecting my naval front. 
Movimba's signet ring. Ugh, food. Now is at the point where I'm just like, uh, don't don't talk to me, cities. I need to open the production queue and just spam like city projects. And I can probably just delete a lot of these units. None of them are doing anything anyway. So Ooh, almost lost that. There goes another trade route. Hate that. The Mayans are now eating my trade routes. Pull this up. Bomb the city. And Wukong goes in. Captured. You need to heal. And let's work on getting close enough to do something with my bombers over here. I ah, it's still too far away. Are you serious? Two turns. Rebellion in two turns. No. Let's throw Victor over here. Does that fix it? Three turns. Ouch. Ouch. That's not gonna stay. That's not gonna stay my city. Well, I can always just take this city. Why can't... Hmm. That doesn't seem like it's too far away from my bombers. Right? That doesn't feel like it's too far away. But it most definitely is too far away. What if I rebase you into Capiti? And then you just... Can't do anything with you. And I don't want to delete you because you're so promoted. So you're just gonna sleep. Four turns. I got four turns. Four turns. I'm just, at this point, I'm just clicking things. Because I don't want to deal. Amenities will help me keep loyalty. Infantry, you're garbage. Artillery, you were cool to have, but you're garbage. I should probably delete you and save myself some money. Tanks will be nice because I can run around and pillage things. Cavalry is nice because I can run around and pillage things. Uh, can't upgrade you to a helicopter because that takes aluminum. And we got builders, but whatever. I miss in... Do you take anything to upkeep? No. I miss the Civ 4 option to just automate builders. To just go and automate and build better improvements. Since I can't reach the city, I want to step away. Because I don't want to be hit. And we'll just go lumber mill a bunch of things up. The governor is not idle game. I just moved him. I hate that so much. Okay, gold. And sort by gold. And just... Start sending gold off, Cardiff, for the trader. I mean, that's going through my enemy, but it's it's for the envoy. More than anything, it's just for the envoy. You're dead. Thank you, Rome. What can I upgrade? A battleship can upgrade next turn. That's what we'll do. Do I? Start going into Arma. Do I start liberating Arma from this city, or what should I choose to do? I wish I could also all clear these. The Aztecs in Greece are friend. 
Aztec, she beat you up the entire game. Why are you friends with her? She was wrecking you the entire game. Why would you be friends with her? Gotta be in friendly territory to upgrade you. Well, these bombers that can't reach anything, let's just get you upgraded. Upgrade. 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 And watch the game completely change now that I have these jet bombers. Things are going to be completely different now. Wonder. And hopefully I'll be able to run away next turn. I don't really want to get caught out. I want to be able to run away. Who am I getting? Great Admiral Franz von Hipper. Instantly creates a battleship with one promotion. That'll give me like a battleship core. Which is okay. Seaport for the gold. And we'll send you up. Deploy you down here. And as long as she wants to keep sending meat into the grinder, I'm just going to keep grinding meat. 24 turns still. I like you, Wukong. You are useful. When I destroy their district defenses, then I will definitely consider pillaging that campus. But for now, we'll just hang out. Uh, sleep. Mine. Arthur, you come with me. I... It is probably a bad idea to move all of my units to this front. I would like to keep some units to go faster through Gorgo, but... Eh, whatever, who cares. Kick Arma... I'm, I got six turns until I'm completely out of aluminum and I get worse bombers. Which is like not something I want to happen. I do not want to end up with worse bombers. They're the entire brunt of my military. Okay. Now that I've upgraded you, do you have the range? Yeah, so much better. Do you have the range? Not yet. Let's just rebase you here. Do you have it within range? Yes, you do. Oh, uh, look at that. Just getting completely melted here. Air attack. Oof. Oof. Air attack. Compared to what, like, this is doing to this, oh, it's just... It's unfair. I feel bad for the AI with what we do to them. Give me the culture. Smack you. Come up here. Smack you. And Wukong. I still want to keep you safe. But we'll try. Fortify. And just move our aircraft carrier ever upwards into their face. 30 turns left on this stupid emergency. And let's start moving some troops down onto this side. Just start moving some troops over into this side. So I don't have to think about it too hard.
My city can attack. Just keep sending me units, please. That's free experience. It's free air score. I'm about to lose this city in two turns, so I gotta take that. I gotta... I gotta take that and move this jet bomber out on the same turn. So how am I gonna... How am I gonna... Deal with this? How am I gonna make this adjustment? Spy level, naval units, envoys, nuclear devices, doesn't matter. Let's hit you with this jet bomber. And go ahead and use our destroyer to move in. Remote and form a fleet rebase to here upgrade you village one more time take this jet bomb oh can't use that jet bomber take this jet bomber and hit arma And we'll be in position to take this pretty easily. Just sit you outside of the city. Keep. Definitely want to keep. And then Kayapoi is next. Because I want the aluminum. As far as tech goes... I guess we move into nukes and then r robots, right? It's n I'm not that far away from giant death robots. And I definitely need to get some flood barriers going because I am going to experience some flooding. Himiko's about to go, but Himiko's been useless. So, I mean, no real, no real loss with that one. Reduction is good, always boosting myself up through my science tree. Throw the aircraft carrier more in the middle. And just start pillaging. Fortify and start pillaging everything. Jet bomber. Arma. Wow, they got so much more range. It's nice. It's so nice. Uh, repairs. I, again, I wish I had an auto repair. Auto repair button so I didn't have to think so hard. I'll take Samarkand, thank you. I guess China is my next military target. Because he's the next scariest thing. He's going to be the next issue. Oh no, my cavalry. My cavalry, my cavalry, my cavalry. We'll just start taking down those defenses. Jet bomber. Air attack here. Uh, jet bomber. Air attack here. Move in with the tank. Oh, I should have pillaged first. Oh, I'm stupid. Like, I even I even knew that I wanted to pillage first. 
Oh, I'm so stupid. I misplayed that. Misplayed that. Doesn't matter, though. Uh, the aircraft carrier, you just stay. We're definitely keeping that city. And then just jet bomber. Oh, it's disgusting. It's just disgusting how easy it is. I mean, yeah, that's how modern warfare kind of works. But it's just disgusting. <laughs> Victor, assign you back to this city. Three turns. What is eating up all of your loyalty? I don't want to keep taking that city over and over again. Now, the question is... The question we have now is, do I keep Arma? Just to have more room for bombers over here? Or do I liberate Armagh for the gold? It's a hard question. That's a hard question. Do I keep Armagh to have... To have the bases over here? Or do I, I kill it for... Or I free it for gold. I think we keep. I think we gotta keep. But it's about to rebel. Need to deal with my loyalty issue. I need to move. You know what? Open the queue. And we're just gonna slam commercial investments in there. I need to move some governors around. Let's assign you back to Rome. And then let's reassign you Arma. I just need loyalty sticks. And Coupe will flip in 13 turns. Open up the queue. Put a bunch of things in. Coupe flips in 13 turns. Do I take the time to attack Coupe or do I just start moving into China? Probably just going to start moving into China. Don't really think that's going to be an issue. Probably just start moving into China. If I can take China out in the next two turns, I can not have to deal with these loyalty flips over here. A Minas Gerais. Wow, there wasn't even Brazil in this game. It's a barbarian one. I mean, yeah, I know it's a barbarian one, but it's a special one is what I mean. Governor is not idle game. Why am I still not getting enough? Won't this kick in till next turn? Will that not kick in till next turn? I have a... A worker over here. Well, wow, look at look at all of this nonsense. I just want to clear that out. Yeah, he's flipping. I probably shouldn't worry about killing him. It feels like a waste, but it will allow me to use, move my units a lot easier. But I, I probably don't really need to worry about it at all. I definitely do need to worry about China. So let's go on a China murdering spree here. Take Guangzhou and Jet Bomber. Jet Bomber. Well, I can take a city in a turn with the amount of bombers I have. Uh, seven turns, eight turns. I can take one city a turn with, with what I'm working with here. 
and just eat you. Whew. Look at that. 14 turns, eight turns, 49 turns. Chengdu, you're coming up next. And then Xi'an is after that. Oh, just rolling through them. Uh, the furthest away needs to be air-based, so I might lose, might lose a turn on that. And I'm getting two a turn, so I could buy one more jet bomber if I had a hangar. Not now. I won't worry about that for now. I'm not going to worry about that for now. I'm going to make the next few episodes of these a little bit longer. Uh, probably closer to 40 minutes, just because we're not doing much besides clicking on cities. So I don't really want to just put out a 20-minute episode of clicking uh, air attack, air attack, air attack, air attack over and over and over again. Uh, I, I want to make some real progress and finish this series up. I've enjoyed it. I really like playing as Rome. Oh, nope. Let's... Put you back in there how much until you rebel seven turns eh. and you rebel in 16 turns uh, I might have to do something about that because that is my and that is my my aluminum city. I might have to do a little bit about that. Keep siphoning funds. I mean, this side of the world is going to be pretty much a stomp once I get my giant death robots online. I got plenty of uranium. In five turns, I can change my government. I can change my government right now. I mean, it's not a... It's not really going to be an issue to change my government. I have so much gold right now. Can I reach Shengdu all the way? Yeah. Give me a trading dome just for the gold. No other reason than that. Jeff Bomber, Air Attack, and Shengdu is done. Another Jeff Bomber, Air Attack, and just roll this down. Is there anything I need? I need to rebase you. Plant the woods. Can't attack that yet. Not really worried about Arthur dying. And we just move down here to Xi'an. Wow, I got... Do I have three range on that now? Oh, don't declare friends with Suleiman because I want to kill him soon. So I'll just avoid that. Keep getting our flood barriers. I should be building military engineers. I can't be bothered to click. I just can't be bothered to click on it anymore. I just can't waste my clicks anymore. Oh, big eruption back home. I got the World's Fair. Easy peasy. Twenty-three turns? That increased. You're making me murder you, Coupe. I didn't want to murder you. You're you are forcing my hand here. You made a bad decision. Let's go ahead and rebase over in Arma. And then choose production lighthouse in Pudioli. 
broadcast center here because I like the culture in a domination game. Culture is always so useful in a domination game to get you to those nice uh, cards. Chengdu is mine. And now we just work on bombing the spit out of Xi'an. Not much they can do. And with that, I think we're going to call this in. You know what? Instead of calling it here, let's go ahead and take our third capital of the game here and take out China. Once we take that capital, then we'll call it a game. Hmm. Kind of need to move you around up here. After we get up there, then we have an army on that side. We can start taking cities. Things become super easy. We're going to move you here. Not scared of that city in the slightest. I got my submarine finally. And yeah, we're going to take Xi'an. And as far as cities for China goes, probably these three. And that's it. I kind of want the Colosseum. Repair and then Flood Barrier. Whatever Flood Barrier. Whatever Flood Barrier. Oh, I lost Reyna. They neutralized my governor. Crap. I'm going to go ahead and reassign her to keep some loyalty coming over here. Governor's not idle. I just moved it, game. God, I hate it so much. I also hate having to click through all of these. Give me a clear all button. On the console, there's a clear all button. You just press square. Easy. Well, Sankor goes late. Late in the game. I'm not going to have a whole lot of... I'm not going to have a whole lot of... Diplomatic victory points. So I kind of just want to not use any of them, not waste any of them at all. I'm going to be using them to, there's Taj Mahal. I'm going to be using them for, uh, oh, I lost two victory points. Stopping military emergencies. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I have a military emergency anymore, though. If I'm at war with the whole world, I can't be at war with anybody else. So, military emergencies, kind of not a problem anymore, now that I think about it, now that I'm being smart. Wow, does this city survive another turn? I don't have... I don't have enough uh, bomber units to take it. It survives another turn. Pretty sure that I can't... Why did that happen? Pretty sure Arthur's not able to take it, right? Yeah, he's not. Six turns. My aircraft carrier is actually scared of that of that ironclad. Give me the science. I have no research labs, but I have 528 science. Just because I have a bajillion cities and I have all of this faith a turn being converted into science. Give me expensive things to build, please, game. And go up there. Kill up. Next turn. Okay, come on. Too many things to click and each click I make is less meaningful than the last. That's a pretty scary unit. Chemistry. Pretty scary unit there, actually. I've got 
upgrades I need to, to put in for my for my units. Bye Maori. We killed Kupe. And let's bomb and take. And there goes our Chinese capital. Ooh. That's a pretty strong unit. Unit is probably strong enough itself to take the city back, to be perfectly honest. And take this jet bomber. And just keep rolling Wukong down while he keeps rebuilding Beowulf. The military strength on this guy is insane. Like, the, the combat strength on Beowulf is insane. He's back up to 140. What did you build over here? Spec Ops, an AT crew. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. Okay. Well, we have the Coliseum now. That should help take care of a lot of amenity issues. But we do have crazy amounts of war weariness adding up. Next turn, I'll be able to change our government out. And if we do change our government out, we're going to go for loyalty policies and war weariness policies. Don't really need gold anymore. I can buy all of the... I can buy all of the giant desk robots that I need, which is like one, right? So don't really need to care about that anymore. Repair my outer walls just in case Mavimba gets a little testy. Seaport. Five turns on loyalty here. We'll just move Victor right on down to Xi'an. Got perfect loyalty over here, so I probably don't really need the loyalty card. I do need to deal with the loyalty here. Can I? Yeah, that's no issue. Done. Easy peasy. Once I take these two, I mean, once I take Beijing, everything will flip to me. Tongsha should at least flip to me. Well, with that, we are going to end the episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, please leave me that like. And as always, I will be seeing you in the next episode. Goodbye.